Do you folks see what I see? Check out the antenna coil here in the up close photos. A little concerning. We'll come back to this in just a few minutes. Let's take a close look here at the output transformer. If anyone recognizes the output transformer and they have the specs on it, please let me know. Kenyon R-305 here. And it was only attached by the one tab on the right hand side here facing me. Left side was undone, so uh, I'm a little suspect if this is the original output transformer or not. Okay, let's walk through the setup here of some impedance testing. Again, I mentioned I don't have the specs on the uh, Kenyon R305. So I'm just doing some uh, impedance testing here. Here's my uh, setup, and you guys were watching the picture in picture. You can see me uh, scanning through, showing uh, the multimeter, the output transformer here that's uh, north of me, the audio signal generator here, as well as the oscilloscope. So on the primary side, you can see I've got the oscilloscope hooked up so I can just measure the input voltage from the audio generator. I'm generating a 400 hertz tone. And I'm just adjusting the amplitude here of the audio signal generator to read 0.1 volts on my uh, multimeter on the AC side across the secondary. Having that information, I can then determine the turns ratio. So the turns ratio is just my primary voltage uh, that we're reading here, 2.82 volts, divided by the secondary voltage of 0 0.10. So the turns ratio for this particular transformer is uh, 28.2. To see if it's a good match for the Type 41 tube, as well as the uh, loudspeaker that's installed. I need to understand what the impedance ratio is. So to get the impedance ratio, the next step is to take the turns ratio and square that number. So the impedance ratio is 28.2 or squared or 28.2 times itself. That gives us an impedance ratio of 795.24. So I can tell you that's not a good number. Uh, we're way too low for the uh, Type 41 tube. But also calculated the impedance of the speaker. And uh, I'll reference, if you look at the top right hand of your uh, screen, you'll see a pop-up here in just a moment. You can click on that. That goes back to um, a number of videos that I published on uh, how to measure uh, speaker impedance. Anyway, this particular speaker at around 400 hertz is uh, right at 5 ohms. Now the Type 41 uh, power amp tube, we need to be able to match the output transformer across the load. And uh, looking at my specs on the uh, transformer here, let me scoot this up just a bit, about 9800 ohms. And I'm having to estimate that because the B plus on this radio is called out about 175 volts. So it's going to be somewhere around 9,810K, uh, no big deal. But we, what we want to do is understand the impedance ratio. And that's equal to the load resistance divided by the impedance. So to calculate that number, I'm taking my 9,800, the load resistance for the tube, right out of the tube manual divided by 5.03, which was the impedance that I measured of the speaker. Again, not the DC resistance, but the impedance of the speaker. Now I need to understand the turns ratio, and to get that, I'm going to just do the square root of the impedance ratio. So the square root of 1948, which is this number here, the impedance ratio, comes up to a turns ratio of 44 to 1 versus the uh, 28.2 that we had here to 1. So I should have put a 1 right here. So you can see, based on my testing, the output transformer is not a good match for the Type 41 tube operating uh, just under 200 volts. 
you'll notice on the graph that I showed on the speaker impedance, just like any other speaker, as you go up in frequency, so does the impedance of the speaker. So even though I measured, you know, just uh, right at 5 ohms of uh, impedance, at 400 hertz, the speaker continues to uh, ramp up. So knowing that, I can probably easily use a, a 40 to 1 or even a 38 to 1 ratio, turns ratio, output transformer, and uh, I think the radio would be just fine. But I'll look for somewhere in this neighborhood, 44 to 1, and then I can, uh, like I said, come down to, um, you know, a 40. But a 28 is not really a good match for the uh, radio. Now, this may have been an OEM output transformer, and they may have just been using what they had on hand. So if anyone has the uh, cadet out there or has any information, if the uh, Kenyon R305 is the original output transformer, I'd love to know that. All right, let me show you a few other things that uh, I got accomplished here just looking at the health of the uh, coils. We'll get back to that antenna coil and I'll share the uh, results with you guys. Just like I did with the Airline 62306, just taking time here to measure DC resistance of the coils, including the inductance when possible. With the exception of the power transformer, which is still a big question mark in my mind, all the other coils uh, check good, as noted. Now that oddball, what you saw with the broken lead wire from the antenna coil, I read DC resistance on the primary and secondary, so I'm only assuming at this point in time you can see there's multiple coils wound there. Uh, it's just an unused coil, and uh, that wire is exposed uh, looping from the antenna coil. I'll clean it up, leave it as is, and once we get to the point where we can uh, turn the radio up, hopefully, uh, you know, in the near future, we'll see if indeed I'm correct on that.